On the 6th of November 2020, the Council of the European Union prepared a resolution obliging platform operators such as WhatsApp, Signal and Co to create master keys in order to allow national authorities to monitor end-to-end -end encrypted chats and messages. So what does this mean? Currently, apps like WhatsApp encrypt the messages you send. To understand how they do this, imagine a mailbox with two keys. Key 1 is needed to deposit mails. Key 1 can be reproduced and given to friends or even be made public. But key 2, the key to open the mailbox, is unique and only the owner of the mailbox possesses it. Now imagine two people having such mailboxes. They can securely exchange information by using the public keys to deposit mails, knowing that only the owner of the mailbox will be able to read them. On the internet these keys are codes, but the principle stays the same. Now imagine the government would force the manufacturer of the mailboxes to have one single master key, which would fit every single lock. Do you think that this key could be hidden forever from mailbox villains desiring to steal other people's mail? And do you think that the mailbox manufacturer like Facebook or Google would never get tempted to use their general key just to read mails they should not be able to see. If we talk about creating master keys for end-to-end -end encrypted chats and messages, we are talking about the violation of the fundamental rights of privacy and data protection. We are talking about giving governments and companies like Facebook access to the totality of our online communication. We are talking about endangering our privacy on the internet. Once a general key exists, hackers all around the world will try to find it. And sooner rather than later, one of them will have success. Maybe you don't care about somebody else reading your messages, but what would you say if the pictures of your children that you only shared with your family would suddenly appear on the darknet? Or if your bank information would be stolen? It is simply not possible to open a backdoor for governments and secret services without also opening the door for criminals. The Council of the European Union wants to get access to encrypted chats and messages to fight criminal activities. But their plan will lead to the opposite effect. Criminals will no longer communicate via end-to-end -end encrypted chats when they know that a general key exists. They are not that stupid. However, innocent people who think that they have nothing to hide will continue to use these sorts of messengers and will become an easy target for online criminals. Instead of making our world a little bit safer, the project of the Council of the European Union will endanger the security of our entire online communication. That's why we need to act. Objections to this project must be voiced clearly and loudly. Consequently, the Pirates of Europe rise up against the project of the Council of the European Union and try to exert as much pressure as possible on national governments in order to let them realize just how dangerous their plans are. If you want to take part, please share this video and raise your voice against the European resolution that will be discussed on the 19th and 25th November in Brussels.